Hey guys, what's going on? It's David Miller from Monetary Ocean, and today I wanted to show you guys the first ever uh, pre Monetary Ocean video that relates to book sourcing. I created this video before I knew that I wanted to have like a YouTube channel, and so it's kind of poorly made, but I wanted to keep it in its true original fashion. So I'm just adding this little video at the beginning. So I just want to give you guys a heads up. Some of it's a little bit choppy. Some of the editing is kind of cheesy, but if you guys want to skip to the end, feel free. I have the full breakdown of my numbers. I believe it starts at about six minutes. So if you guys want to check that out, go ahead. And if you guys like this video, please hit the like. And if you guys have any questions or want to learn more about this travel or this trip, uh, leave a comment below. But without further ado, check out this video. Catch a beat on the feds. Police always wanna see you in check. Swear to God, I got the death in the rest. On the spot, I couldn't play the defense. Called you up and she's a be there in 10. They didn't know I wanna see you again. All the sudden, bitches seeming the same. Think I'm about to wanna live in the pen. Hard choices, though, just came with the game. I don't wish I could leave you with less. Over caution, now I carry a gauge. Try to avoid it, but I never left. Lawyers, they wanna take the 10%. Take a quarter case to stay out of friends. I was born and raised to carry the team. I just fought it days of being depressed. I'm the last one standing. Alright, so look, I've just been scanning them all day. And I'm about to go through all the stuff that I've collected just from today, uh, Tuesday. So I've got this lot right here was $105. Then I've got another bag down here. So I just got up and stayed two. Uh, first day I hit um, six places. I got another five on the way back. I'm going to hit one more while I'm still in Memphis here. Um, and then I'm going to start heading back to St. Louis. I've got another four on the drive back. So far, so good. It's been pretty successful. So I'd only planned on spending about $200 um, on this trip, buying books and whatever else I can find. The second stop I hit rang me up $105, but I walked out of there with a lot of good stuff. So I'm not complaining about that. I'm up to about $210 at the start of day two. So we'll see how much more I end up spending. Just left my last stop here in Memphis. It was a Salvation Army. I only walked away with one book. Um, there was another scanner in there, so he basically cleaned up before I um, before I was able to. But it's all right. I got a good uh, profit margin on that one book. It was about five dollars, and even actually six because it was marked two dollars and there was a dollar discount, so or a half off discount. So yeah, it's pretty good for only spending a dollar. So now we're gonna head back and hit up uh, some more Goodwills on the way back. Yeah, backwards in the Bruce Wayne, I'm kicking all my shoes. Yeah, vibing in that blue sweat, stepping to the booth. Hey, you don't know how we do. Hey, so I just wrapped up my last store. Uh, about to head home, but I want one quick tip for you guys. Uh, keep these on hand always if you're gonna be scouting books or basically anything in a thrift store. Uh, some places you go, they can be kind of dirty. Um, so you want to wipe your hands or alternatively you could just go to the bathroom once you're finished and wash your hands in there. Or if we'll go out to eat somewhere and they have wet naps, I'll just keep the extra ones and then just keep them in my car and they're ready to go whenever I need them. So yeah, I'm about to head home. So this is the haul from the weekend. Did pretty good. I put in all these, I believe it was, uh, 68 units. There was two or three books that I kept for myself. Um, they were, ended up being profitable, or at least two of them were. Um, the other one I just wanted to read, but I'm going to read those up and then go ahead and sell them once I'm finished with it. And then I also have some uh, books from a la uh, an older haul uh, earlier in the month. I'm going to throw those in and uh, I'll show you what the inventory lapse looks like. Alright, so here's my total breakdown. Um, we had 68 units. Um, total. Well, that wasn't total. Like I said, um, I had some other ones that I kept... Uh, just for now, I'm going to end up selling those as well. Uh, the average sales rank, 500,000. That's pretty decent. I had a couple. I had like one that was 8 million, but the, the profit margin on it was somewhere around $40. So that was definitely worth picking up, um, especially because I undercut everyone else. 
um, that was currently selling it, and I'm still going to get a $40, $40 profit off that. So that's something I can wait on, and that kind of brought up my sales rank. I had a lot of really low sales rank books, which some of them I've never even seen that low Like for books. One was in the uh in the hundreds so that it was only a couple dollar profit but that's just gonna that's just something that's a quick sale so i figured i might as well go for it um so total sales value 1474 and seven cents that's pretty decent it comes down to my net profit being 621 dollars and 83 cents now we can see here this is a total breakdown these are all the places i went to tennessee mississippi arkansas and missouri um the miles driven, that's going to be, uh, I'm not sure I'm putting that in here right now. Um, then we have the full breakdown of all the, all the costs. Um, so the 310, 21, that's the total costs, um, including the product. Over here, I have, I excluded the cost of good, which is the product, because in Inventory Lab, it automatically, or it does that for me. So that's where the gross profit comes from. It already excludes the cost of goods, so I didn't put that in there. The expenses are strictly gas, food, and the motel. So that brings me almost to a $500 net profit, which that is pretty good considering I spent um, two days, pretty much two full days driving and scanning. Um, so I just wanted to go ahead and give this full breakdown just to show you guys Um this is a profitable thing you can be doing. You can put in the time and effort and scout out locations. I spent a good few days preparing this whole trip. I made it as best I could to where I wasn't really stepping over myself, like uh, tracing over my steps, um, so I could just hit them in the best possible way, save some gas. But um, you plan up, you save, um, and you, you kind of scrounge. I um, I only ate one meal while I was down there, and I brought food from home um, just to keep costs as low as possible. I, I stayed in a <laughs> extremely cheap motel, but it was, uh, considering how cheap it was, $41 for a night, um, and that's after the taxes and stuff. It was originally $35. Um, that was a pretty good cost, and the, the motel was pretty decent considering how much it cost, which surprised me. <laughs> considering it was right on the side of the highway and it was basically a truck stop uh, motel. But I had a great time on this trip. <laughs> <laughs>